after we make the model assumption, do you still remember what's the model assumption? Huh? We assume x1 up to x n x is a simple random sample from normal population. And we also make assumption on y1 to y and y is also a simple random sample from normal population. Furthermore, we assume x and y are dependent. Right? So I can summarize all the assumptions in one word. So we need what? Two independent simple random sample from normal population. Is that okay? That's it. So let's check the data. First, examine the data to check whether the normality assumption is violated or not violated. So we make a back-to-back -back one, stem plot. This side is a DRP test score for the treatment group. Remember, the treatment is what? Student use a new directly reading ability. Uh, ability. New directly reading what? Activity in the classroom, right? That's the treatment. And control is what? Follow the same curriculum, but don't have that new directly reading activity. Treatment DRP test score, control DRP test score. And this is the data of 21 students in the treatment group. Okay? We make a nice smooth curve, go through what? The stem plot. What do you find? Hmm? You find this is unimodal, symmetric, and no outlier. So obviously, no violations to the normality assumption. Okay? Now look at this side. The data from what? Control group. What, do you, what can you say? You say this is also unimodal, roughly symmetric, but you have one outlier. But this outlier, yep, it falls outside the overall pattern, but it's not that far away from the main group. Am I clear? So we call this outlier is what? Mild. It's not very extreme. Okay? So this don't consider what? A serious, serious violation to the normality assumption, okay? So for this side and this side, we don't see huh? there's a violation to the normality assumption. At least you find some, but it's not strong, is that it? Hmm? So other than this, we also observed the center of Y compared to the center of X. Which Y is bigger? Central X is bigger than central center, central location of Y. Am I correct? That means average DRP test score for the treatment group is higher than the average what? DRP test score for control group. And center X bigger than center Y. And ask why. Huh? How you can exp how can you explain what? That difference. Two possible explanations. A, the treatment is better. What's the treatment is better? New directly reading activity. Those activities are helpful, improve what? Pupils' reading ability. Therefore, their average what? DRP test score is higher. Look it? Higher than this. But the other reason is what? The treatment is not better. Huh? But since it's not better, why you see this average is higher than this? Well, the difference is due to what? Sampling error. When I say sampling error, what does that mean? That means the treatment, uh, the new directly reading activity in the classroom, are not helpful. But why this average is higher than this? Well, it's because when you randomly assign people and put in this class, those students in this class, they were better students right from the beginning. Okay? Not because the treatment is better. Is that okay? We call this a sampling error. Okay? The, due, the difference is due to what? Sampling error. So let's read the paragraph here. Uh, back to back stem prop suggests that there is a mild outliers in the control group, but no deviation from what? Normality serious enough to forbid use of T, -P -T procedure. Separate normal quantile plots for both groups confirm that both are approximately normal. The score of the treatment group appear to be somewhat higher than those what? Control group. The summary statistics are listed as follows. Okay? 
I ask you guys to what? To memorize notation. First one, the DRP test score, I denote it by X. The control one, DRP test score, denote it by Y. And the size of the treatment group, NX is 21, NY is 23. NY 23 is for control group. And sample mean for the treatment group, I use X bar, and that is 51.48. And sample mean for control group is 41.52. And sample standard deviation for treatment group, 11.01, that's my SX. And sample standard deviation for the control group, 17.15, that's denoted by S1.